Hello, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. And remember, all year round, you can find this forecast at our website, WSKITV.com. Brought to you by Geppetto's in Village West. And we're starting out the day on the chilly side, but it will be warming right up with the base 27 to 31 at the summit 18 to 22. We do expect to see flurries and light snow off and on throughout the day. Hopefully we'll pick up a couple more inches, including overnight. So that's always good. And on Thursday, pretty much the same, although a little bit cooler in the forecast, as in 2 to 6 at the summit, 14 to 18 at the base. But we're still holding on to flurries and periods of light snow for hopefully a couple couple more inches on Thursday as well. As we head on into the weekend, it is going to be a chilly weekend, no doubt about that. But the good news is snow will be in great shape. Friday, a high of 14 at the base, zero at the summit. Partly sunny skies, although we'll see clouds move in for snow later on into the evening. It'll taper off into flurries on Saturday with a high of minus 2 at the base, minus 17 at the summit. And on Sunday, more of the same. Downright cold on Valentine's Day. Birchwood Interior is bringing you our trail conditions for this Wednesday looking mighty fine. Get out everybody 98 trails and trail sections are open for skiing and riding. 61 were groomed overnight. Gauge is closed for training with a Super G but the rest of the mountain looking absolutely excellent from top to bottom, side to side Snowmakers will pick their jobs back up on Thursday. Extensive grooming last night including all of White Nitro and Gondola Line from the absolute summit of the mountain. Also Kings, Comp, Gauge, Tote Spillway, Sluice Candy side, Wedge. On the east side, Choker, Widowmaker, Flume, Ram Down, Wiffle Tree. And of course, they always do all the beginner terrain at the bottom of the mountain, making sure if you're just learning how to ski or ride, you have nice, sweet corduroy to work with. After that little bit of new snow mixed in with the old snow, conditions are absolutely fantastic. So get out and ride, everybody. Snubber Skidway, Sawduster, start up at 8.30. Those are the lifts at the base of the mountain serving the beginner terrain also double runner east at 8 30 that serves beginner and a bit of intermediate terrain getting you a little bit further up the hill to the top of kangaroo hill and the bottom of skyline chairlift super quad and skyline are the two main arteries they start up at 8 30 from either one of them you can go east and west to advanced to beginner terrain all over the mountain on the east side we have king pine and wiffle tree king pine more advanced terrain up top they both open at 9. And Timberline, which is the tip-top chairlift, that opens up at 9 o'clock as well. And as I said, from all those summit lifts, you can get to advanced terrain, to beginner terrain. You name it, get out and make the most of this beautiful day. Ice rink is open at the outdoor center. So are the cross-country ski trails. They have 30 kilometers skate-style groomed for you. And don't forget, Wednesday is two for night at the shipyard. That is at the bottom of the Birches at the Sugarloaf Inn. You can ski down for lunch. And also remember, Wednesday is their two for night. Valentine's Day is Sunday, so if you haven't gotten anything for your sweetheart, head on over to Sensations in downtown Kingfield. All kinds of sweet ideas for excellent Valentine's Day Valentine's Day presents for whoever you have in mind. WSKITV.com. That's our website. We're also on Facebook. So if you want to know what's happening on the mountain and off anywhere throughout the main High Peaks region, we'll keep you in the know. And you can watch us no matter where you are for our live shows. We stream them Saturday, Sunday, Monday mornings, 730 till 9. Go to our website, WSKITV.com, and you can know before you go, just as if you were right here watching on Time Warner Cable. Next week, Daily shows every morning.